Welcome to another episode of Have You <laughs> Seen It? I am Charles, and I am with my lovely co-host, who we had been together for the last couple of weeks, right? We haven't Denise. seen you. We, we hadn't seen you. You hadn't seen me. That's yeah. right. And now we are back in the saddle. Yeah. So, <laughs> Denise, what movie are you going to recommend for our audience today? Okay, I'm recommending the movie The Power of the Dog. Netflix original, starring Kirsten Dunst, Jesse Plemons, Benedict Cumberbatch, and Cody Smith McPhee. That's a lot to say. That's a, yes. <laughs> That's a mouthful. <laughs> uh, these um, actors play Rose brothers George and Phil, and son Peter in this movie. The year is 1925, and George and Phil, played by Jesse Plemons and Mr. Cumberbatch, are the Burbank brothers. They are wealthy cattle ranchers in Montana. Mm -hmm. The Red Mill Restaurant is run by Rose, played by Kirsten Dunst, and her son, Peter, you know, helps her out. So... When the cattle rustlers come into town or come to this particular ranch, this is kind of where they stop and eat and kind of hang out and whatnot. Mm -hmm. Well, Benedict Cumberbatch's character is Phil, and he is quite menacing and intimidating. He's got some alpha dog issues going on, and he uses them to his advantage as he basically torments Rose and her son, Peter. And he does it from afar, but so much to the point that he drives little Rose to drink. So she starts <laughs> hitting the bottle because he's so menacing. And right. one of the reasons why he's so menacing towards her is that he whistles a tune that she can't play on the piano. <laughs> That's, that's kind of mean. So she'll be trying to play and she'll hear him whistling. Or he'll just walk by and start whistling and she get all scared and just start hitting the bottle. Her son, Peter, is uh, studying to be a surgeon. You know, so the cattle ranch is prime. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's a prime <laughs> opportunity for him to test his skills. Well, as the movie progresses, you, you find out that Phil's, uh, that Phil has um, a strong uh, connection to Bronco Henry, who once owned the ranch or has some connection to the ranch from some time ago. But his connection is quite creepy in that it exposes some uh, homosexual tendencies. Um, if you blink, you might miss them, but I'm telling you folks, when you watch this movie and you watch Phil, when he starts talking about Bronco Henry, watch his hand. <laughs> okay. I'm just going to, I'm just going to put this, watch his hands and the way he describes, you know, their relationship. Mm -hmm. So you really got to pay close attention. Well, Fast forward towards the end of the movie, the last 15 minutes, actually, things really get crazy. And I watched this movie twice because apparently the first time I watched it, the first 15 minutes, I fell asleep. <laughs> and when I woke up, I was like, how did that happen? Where was I? So now yeah, when I watched it the second time, I realized, oh, my God. God, there are clues, people. There are clues that you need to pay close attention to that last 15 minutes because this movie is something else. If you like uh, No Country for Old Men or There Will Be Blood and you like that slow movie that takes its time to kind of draw you in. This is the movie for you. Cumberbatch, fantastic. As usual. <laughs> All four 
characters, main characters, are nominated for an Academy Award. Right. So that is my review. Check it out, <laughs> if you dare. <laughs> so what do you have, my friend? Okay, so I am going to recommend Can You Keep a Secret? It's a romantic comedy uh, starring Alexandria Daddario, Tyler Hucklin, and Lorraine Cox. So Alexandra Daddario plays Emma. And she is coming back from a very unsuccessful business trip. And so she's on the plane and they, the plane started having some really bad turbulence and she started freaking out. Mm -hmm. So much so she started, <laughs> started hitting the bottle okay. All right, so to calm herself down. Mm -hmm. And as she was doing this, she started spilling her guts to the guy that was sitting right next to him. He was just sitting there, just taking it all in, and mm -hmm. she was just telling everything. How much she hated work, how much she hated the co-workers, how she pretended to like them, and mm -hmm. how she didn't like a boyfriend, and all kind of stuff, right? All kind of personal stuff about mm -hmm. herself. So next day she goes to work, and the new CEO comes in and they're introducing him to everybody and they get ready to introduce her to her and she realizes this is the guy that was sitting right next to her on the plane, mm -hmm. right? And then she was like, holy crap, I said all this bad stuff about mm -hmm. the company, what I did and stuff. So she went to him, she said, are you going to fire me? Mm -hmm. He said, no, I'm not going to fire you. He said, she said, or but are you going to keep my secret mm -hmm. <laughs> of all the stuff? And she said, he said, yeah. He said, but you got to keep my secret. And that is, I don't want people to know where I was coming from either. They both were coming from Chicago and mm -hmm. they didn't want this company to know that. So it became a series of very embarrassing moments for her through the movie because of stuff that he told her and she knew about him. Mm -hmm. And through that, they started becoming close and started to like each other. Oh, okay. So this was, the movie had its funny moments. It mm -hmm. did, it had its funny moments, but it was more of a, of a romantic movie. Okay. I definitely wouldn't suggest you go look at it in the theater, but it's on Netflix, and I think it's a pretty good stay at home, you know, date night movie. So okay. my recommendation is, can you keep a secret? <laughs> All right. So who's your nailed it? All right, my nailed it is Penelope Ann Miller from the movie uh, New York City Prison Break. <laughs> That's it. Okay, so folks, if you recall um, the two um, inmates who escaped prison with the help of a woman who worked there, this woman played gullible and naivete <laughs> to the hilt. I can't recall seeing anybody that dumb right. and stupid right. on camera in a very long time. And it's a shame because this is a true story. This woman was actually that drawn in to two murderers mm -hmm. and help them escape and then she ends up going to jail. <laughs> That's my nail. That's your nail date. <laughs> <laughs> so my nail date is Bob Odenberg as Hutch Manziel in Nobody. Bob played this character outstanding. He he was really, really just trying to just be an ordinary guy. Mm -hmm. And have a, just a nice nine to five job, just an ordinary guy, just didn't want, he, he, this is the kind of life he thought he wanted, right? But he find out that he didn't really want this life at all. He wanted to go back to the life that he loved. He, he just loved killing people. Okay. <laughs> so my nail that is Bob Odenberg as Hutch Manziel in Nobody. All right. Well, we are somebody, friends, and we would <laughs> yes, we like are. you to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Make sure you hit that like button. And we are available on every podcast platform in the universe. Just type in, have you seen it with Charles and Denise? And there we will be. And as you are listening to us on 
whichever podcast you choose, please give us a generous five star rating. Audience, thank you very much for joining us for another episode of Have You Seen It with the lovely Denise and yours truly. And we're out. Bye-bye.